Are you more force deficient or velocity deficient? This is important to figure out because it changes how you should train. Someone who is force deficient typically is very bouncy, meaning they can do plyometrics and power exercises really well, but they're not that strong for a one rep max. By contrast, someone who is velocity deficient might have a really good one rep max. For example, they might have a powerlifting background, but they're not that bouncy or powerful. We can actually quantify this with this graph here from Bill Miller from his book, Swing Fast. What you can see here is that some athletes can throw a really heavy med ball fast, but they're not that much faster with throwing a light med ball. This would indicate that they're more velocity deficient and they may need to preferentially train power and high velocity work. A different athlete may be able to throw a really light med ball really fast, but that technique and form breaks down whenever they start to get load in their hands, meaning they're more force deficient. This athlete may actually benefit from more blocks of specific strength work to bring up their force deficit. So what do you think? Are you more force deficient or velocity deficient? Follow for more training tips.